MTS crew. Welcome to the Mother's Day collab. Yes, yes y'all. We are ready yes, to go. We're so excited. Yes. And uh, I wanted to tell you all what is on my menu today. I am doing mm. mustard, spicy mustard fried catfish. I am doing fried uh, macaroni and cheese. Ginger yes. coleslaw. Mm. Now, ne- and, and we're doing some shrimp. Yes. So yes. next week we're going to do a side dish, my mother's favorite side dish. When next, next week comes, then you know. Yes. And then the next following week we're going to do her favorite, my favorite dessert. We're going to do that. So y'all, I can't wait to uh, to get started. And hi, ladies. I hope everything is, is going yes. fine. Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn, Lynette, uh, check her channel out. Because she's in the collab with us. Her link is down below. And also, there's a hashtag, Mother's Day Collab. All you have to do is just hit that hashtag, and it will take you to what the other ladies are cooking. And um, Lisa D is like, hey, Lisa D, what's going on? Girl, I hope it's all good in the neighborhood. I hope yes. you're ready for this collab. Uh, I am very excited. Yes. And I decided, y'all ladies, to do, like I say, the dishes that my mother would like. And, and these dishes that we're doing, um, we're just showing you some of the things that you can cook for Mama for Mother's Day. Mama yes. might want a little bit something different with a different flair or whatever. Mm-hmm. So these are just recipes that we chose, our recipe, to go ahead and, and, and get this thing started, okay? Yes. Okay, y'all. Mother's Day collab. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to fry some macaroni and cheese. Yes. yes. We're going to fry some macaroni and cheese, y'all. My favorite. Yeah, her favorite. Yes. You know, we love the fried <laughs> macaroni and cheese. Mm-hmm. So... Let's go ahead and get started. Take it to the stove, y'all. Okay, y'all, we brush our catfish with spicy ground mustard. And it is absolutely delicious when you bread it and fry it. I've already brushed the other side, so I'm going to brush this side. And we're going to put these in the refrigerator for a minute. Until we get ready to fry them. Plus the fried catfish, you know, delicious. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to uh, fry this um, macaroni and cheese. But the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put about two cups of breadcrumbs. Yes. half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Okay. Uh-oh. We have salt, pepper, paprika, and we have rosemary garlic. Okay, we're going to put this in there. Spatula, please. We're going to get this all mixed up. These are the unseasoned breadcrumbs because I like to uh, add my own seasoning, y'all. So you can put any seasoning in here that you want. This is what I chose. Let's get it all mixed up. In there. What we're gonna do? I cut my my macaroni in squares. You can uh, cut these the way you want to cut them, but I cut mine in squares. And so what we're gonna do? We're gonna dip them. Y'all, I'm sorry, it's just so small over here. We're gonna dip them in egg. Okay, I hope you can see this. We're gonna dip them in egg. And we're going to put them back in the mixture. Can that plate, please? And if you want to double dip, you are welcome to do that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to place these on a plate. If these are the coarse breadcrumbs, we're going to dip again. We're going to put these in a plate. So you can also do the um, balls, but I chose not to. And I um, I made this macaroni a few days ago. I made this mac macaroni a few days ago, and um, you're gonna have to. You you can't use macaroni. You just cook. You just can't do it. Because it's going to fall apart on you. Okay, we're going to finish getting these breaded. Oh, and, and this is egg, y'all. I have about two. I have three eggs in here. And you don't have to double dip, y'all. But I want to double dip. Okay. Okay, y'all, we have our macaroni and cheese breaded and ready to go. Uh, put them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to uh, let them rest. So we're going to go ahead and start put them in the uh, fryer. Let them cook for about mm, about five minutes because all they have to do is brown because the macaroni cheese is already done. Um, you just want to cook that egg on there. So those will be out in a minute, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's check them. Oh, those are perfect. And we're going to take these out and we're going to place them on paper towels and let the oil drain away. Y'all, these are going to be yummy. Okay. Okay. Let's put the next batch in. They stay in there for a few minutes. Then we're going to get ready to go ahead and fry our shrimp and fish. This is how they look, y'all. These are going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, y'all, we're getting ready for our mustard fried fish. And we're going to go in with our seasoning, salt, pepper, and garlic. That's all. You have to be careful with the fish seasoning because it, it already has um, seasoning in it. So we're not going to use that much. This is a Louisiana fish seasoning. Okay. We're going to take our mustard catfish. Your mama gonna love, especially the, the uh, southern mamas, they're gonna love this mustard fried catfish. Absolutely delicious. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna get those all floured up. I mean, battered up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop those. It should be ready in a sec. We're going to go ahead and batter the last two. Y'all, this piece is going to make you slap your mama, but you know not to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, now this piece is about, it's about ready. Yes. Okay, y'all, here's our shrimp, and we're going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon pepper on there. We don't want to over-season because this um, seasoning is already good in season, so we don't want anything salty.
Okay, we're going to get this all mixed up. Okay. And we're going to put the ginger that sister is cutting up. We're going to put that ginger. in the cold slot when we make it and we're going to use one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of sugar okay. we got, we got, got this all mixed up teaspoon of And y'all, I have to taste everything. I have to taste everything. Let's taste it. Mmm, delicious with that ginger. Okay. I bought some shredded coleslaw. You can shred this cabbage up yourself. And I didn't want it cut um, too small and fine. So I, I'm going to leave it just like that. sauce and I don't want a whole lot of sauce on it just enough to taste and I have some chopped ginger I'm going to add that in there now this is something that my mother liked to do to her coleslaw she would always put uh, chopped tomato and jalapenos in there okay I'll start. And if you feel like you're going to need some more um, mail, you're welcome to do it. But this is like a dry coleslaw, and that ginger is going to give it a really, really fresh taste. So we might just add a little more mayo. In here. Okay, about two more. We don't want to put any more seasoning in here, y'all. This is enough seasoning. There it is, y'all. My mother's coleslaw. Okay, y'all. Here's here's Mama's plate. We're going to put a little cheese sauce down here. A lot of macaroni and cheese. Y'all, these are so good. I'm going to put a little cheese on top of this. Okay, y'all, I hope mama is ready to eat. Here's her plate. She has fried shrimp, fried catfish, spicy coleslaw with jalapeno peppers, and she has macaroni and cheese balls. I think mother will love this. <laughs>